Hey, what's up guys? So, it's Gina with KG Collectibles, and today we are going to open some mail and then do a countdown of the top 10 collectibles still trending today. So, what's up, Javi? What's up? Hit the break. So, we're going to have some fun, do a little countdown of, and we must be like huge collectors because I think we have about six out of the, seven out of the ten, what's up, Fred's cards. So, we're going to open mail. We do have bricks available. Um, it's yeah, it's going to, is it backwards? Yeah, I think I have to turn around. Yeah, so we have absolute, these are all, um. These are all going to be blaster boxes. So let me know if you guys are interested and we will pull. Football. Yeah, football blasters. You want to keep that on that side? Just in case. <coughs> yeah. They can't read it. Yeah, they can, you can't read it. Sorry. Okay, so let's start with mail. You got the boxes out. So. Yeah, this is it, right? Yeah, they're right behind you. I made sure to leave all those there. So. What's up? I know. I freaking. Uh, Tanya. So, uh, I went upstairs to go. Or I went to go to the room with you or whatever. And I was checking the live to see if we, like, what it looked like. And I didn't know I hit record. And apparently, <laughs> the whole time that I was, like, getting stuff together, there was people here. I oh, was really? like, oh, my God. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was an accident. We'll be back. <laughs> so, this is from Walmart. And, oh, that is pretty cool. Harlem Trotters Basketball, the original. Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah, globe trotters. I don't know why I just want to call them trotters. But if you see, I don't know, you can't see it. Yeah, you can. Basketball. That's a globe trotters autograph basketball. Who's on there? We don't know. But. Yeah, we don't know the names and we haven't got it um, authenticated. So, pretty Finding cool. Goodwill for two ninety nine. Goodwill is the business. I got my shirt a little wet. My bones. Oh, they did a... They were showing, because Tony Romo did the Super Bowl. Uh-huh. And halftime he was talking, or before the game started, one of them, he was standing there talking. uh -huh. and, uh And whoever posted it on uh, Twitter, or no, it's TikTok, said, guy problems. And he had like a little wet spot. Uh-uh. Are you serious? <laughs> no. Standing there talking the whole time. It's okay. It's like, wet spot. it's like boob sweat. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty gross, though. Boob yeah, sweat. I guess he finally gross. realized or somebody in the background told him. Cause <laughs> he's like. He's talking he had his hand down. Like <laughs> I know. You're like. So this has to be an eBay package. Yeah. I don't know what that's from. Uh, yeah. This is something I ordered a long time ago. Just not getting. I told your mom I got to catch up. See what I haven't got. A Panini's Contenders football? Oh, that's the one I ordered that I was trying, I was uh, checking something was working right. We might have to just mm. break open this for fun. Yeah, I just ordered it just, uh, that was the cheapest thing on there. <laughs> I know, boob sweat, yeah, boob sweat is gross. So, okay, I forgot about that one. Yeah, <laughs> I was just playing with the phone. Mm. I forget what happened, I had to see if I, some, I could order something or something. Oh, I remember what I was trying to see what how it showed if I ordered we through will. PayPal or if I ordered through my personal account. It looks it like. And then if, when sometimes if there's not enough money in PayPal, uh -huh. it goes through my personal account. But I wanted to see by going through my personal account through PayPal, it, if it shows PayPal or my personal account. I don't know if I guys, if I told you guys, but we did, um, that eBay did claim fraud. So somebody. Somebody hacked. Somebody hacked in. Um, they said there was an unauthorized user. Yeah. Into a, in our account. In our account. And and then, you know what's funny? Like, I went to go look at something. Stop everything and rip it. No, because... Okay, well, we need... Not until we close it. We, this case is still open. Yeah. No, no, no. 
Okay, so we have a pack of 2020 Panini Contenders value pack. So we're just going to rip it, guys. Are y'all ready? Unless somebody wants to buy it. Unless, yeah. I mean, it could be yours, and I could break it for you. Get a prize. Let me know. Um, but we are having something cool and special tonight just because um, we do more than just sports cards. We are a full-blown collectible store, if you haven't noticed. Um, and so we're going to give you the top 10 most collectible, uh, most popular or trending, the most popular and trending collectibles of 2020. God damn, how many times do I have to say collectibles? I feel like... <sighs> so, we're going to start, and then if we have them, I'm going to, um... Show them to you guys, but if we don't, we're just kind of just run through it really quick. So, at number 10 is my favorite thing to collect. I swear to God, I love books. And what is that? Books. Oh, books. Comic books or regular books? No, books. Just regular books. Period. Yes. Um, I, I don't know. I have my phases, but this is one of my favorite books, and I found it at Half Price Books, and it's a signed copy. It's called Basketball and Other Things. And it's signed by the author. I read the Audible, so that counts as reading the book. So I have to own the book to make me feel even better about cheating. <laughs> it's Audible. Yeah, Audible's Audible. That's what it's there for. I know. Then we have... This is Mr. Hand's um, book. I actually belong to my dad. Yeah, his dad. So this is The Sun Also Rises, Ernest Hand. Hemingway. And this is the first edition, no? So this is the first edition. First editions are, you know, just like everything else. <coughs> it's from 19, what, 20 something, 20 something, isn't it? 1926. Yep. No, it's just... no, renewal, 1954. Yeah. So it's um, his son. Renewal copy because the 1926 book that's almost two, right. two centuries old in like five years. Mm. Oh, I'm glad that would have been falling apart. Okay, and then, um, we, we don't have like the million dollar, but this is a Harry Potter book now. No, nah, that's first edition, yeah. No, 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 huh. That is first edition. No, I know, but there's... Okay, so in books... Um, let me just read this real quick. I thought I put it in there. Oh, I just read it? Oh, books. And then I want to go look for it. Okay, so the book that... Uh, that's kind of the most expensive book to be sold and it's called the uh hold on let me just pull it up real quick it's funny because i mean we have a lot we have most of these top tens the most expensive hardcover first edition of harry potter and the philosopher's stone can fetch up to $45,000. And Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets goes for around $7,000. Um, oh, The Great Gatsby, however, could sell for as much as $400,000 as long as it's in, perfect, in a perfect dust jacket. I love the movie. I've never read the book. Um, but it's because I, I watched the Jay-Z version. You know, like... The one where they're on the highway. Have you ever seen... Have you seen the new Great Gatsby with the... Uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, yeah. And they're, like, on the highway. I don't know. 
haven't read some of it. Oh, man, it. I love that book. I mean, I love... The movie or the book? <laughs> the movie. So, these books can get really expensive. I, don't, I didn't really collect them for that reason. I collected them because I just like to read. And that was before the internet and, you know, all that cool stuff that the kids have these days. So, that's number 10. So, number 9 is movie collectibles. And I don't think we have very much movie collectibles. Not really. We have Funko Pops. Yeah, the only thing I have, I think they're all fake though. That thing that's wrapped up brown. Those are autographed pictures. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. But uh, I think they're all fakes. But I only paid like 10 bucks, 15 bucks for it. Yeah, so mm-hmm. sometimes you can get duped. But yeah, I got it on purpose. Just you never know. Yeah, yeah. But you can show that. That's okay. about the only thing I've got. Oh, you have that um, Wonder then, Woman. Uh, the Wonder Woman. Then you got Selena Cups over there. Oh, yeah. Selena Cups. Right behind on the door back there. <laughs> Why? Because I said you got duped. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, Tanya's laughing her ass off. Oh, uh, <laughs> I knew it I says, was probably getting duped, but. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so yeah, I like these. Okay, I need Mr. Hand Power. Yeah. <laughs> need to get him in something to straighten him out. Uh. Yeah, supposedly Black Panther. Yeah, these are like like the movie. Uh. You can hold it up. Oh yeah, cause it's like a sticker. No, no, no. It's not even a COA. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It's just like okay, so yeah. But it's a sticker. But it doesn't have a number, no, or it, that doesn't look. That looks like that yeah, so looks like it's printed out. Yeah, yeah, like that looks like it goes to a first grader. Yep. But it's uh, these things are. There you go. Yeah, these are like I said. These are all probably fakes. So. <laughs> hey, you never know. Hey. Chadwick Boseman. See. I mean, they're pretty cool. Yeah. You could definitely. Let's see if I have anything else other than. Uh, other than Black Panther, he does have this cool um, Wonder Woman. What are, you, what are you talking about? Is it the original Wonder Woman? Some kind of um, like movie long yeah, piece. Yeah, in that box where that. Uh, it feels like I know you have something memorabilia movie. It's in that box back back over uh-huh. there. Huh? And the this one? Very back, behind. Uh-huh. There's a small box back there. Okay. Ha. Huh. Does Hamilton count as movie memorabilia? Just no, that's probably that Broadway. Well, actually, they, they made a movie of it. I know, but this is the playbill. Yeah. This is a playbill. These are very, um... And those are, I got records in there from movies. Records is top 20. So, and it's from movies. That one right there. Oh, yeah. See, I told you. Look at this. And let me see. What year is this from? I don't know. It doesn't say, but look at this. Now, that... Is an original, original, freaking Wonder Woman, no, it's and it's in like really good condition. And when you're going through puberty, when they're showing that, <laughs> shut up! That's so gross. What's up, NL? That. And I missed you. It's actually. TV I didn't get my show. feelings hurt though that you. Uh, you know what else movies um we got cool magazines let's see we got a magazines oh got this mary poppins <laughs> he is such like a for real collector so we got um Original presidential album. first pitch like the bench that he sat on jfk i think you might want to say that a little better <laughs> first pitch of the game pitch of the game and then his September 13, 1953 at St. Mary's Church in Newport, Rhode Island 
Senator John F. Kennedy and his bride, former Jacqueline Lynn Bouvier, cut their wedding cake. Did you and ever find that coin? Yeah, the coin is in here. Too. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Oh, we have some mag. Okay, so we're oh, this on. Is the other part of movies. Yeah, so this is Mary Poppins' record, and then we have the original. Um. Uh, the universe. Wonder Woman would do it. Okay. Okay. So we have the original Wonder Woman, and this is came from the movies. That's the TV show. TV show. And then the Mary Poppins album. How many times did you have to listen to this? <laughs> actually, I've never listened to this one. No? Mm-hmm. No, I thought like that was something. That was like, actually when I was a baby. What, what is this to him? Nothing in there. That was the... Uh, oh, that was the... Uh, uh, yeah, I saw it. Okay. I, just, I, I wouldn't put it out. I don't know. It could be something just for you. <laughs> no, that was uh, that problem for me today. Okay. So, yeah. So, that is... Uh, movie collectibles. And then, so that's number uh, nine. So number eight on the top ten is Star Wars. I would have figured that Star Wars would have been higher up ranked, but it's number eight. And so Star Wars. Star Wars. I I don't know exactly. Oh yeah. Um, Star Wars. Nope. I didn't look. Where's your box of cards? Right here. Okay. We got the box of cards. No. What is up with that? I've been seeing it. I just. Oh, yeah. They, and they're limiting four per person. Yeah, because, like, today. somebody was uh, had a stack. And I, I'm not I'm not doing all of that. Like, yeah. seriously. The, I Sometimes I feel like. This is why I'm doing the top ten. Because I feel like, one, what's up? Um, I just want to give you guys more knowledge. And, like, how much more value are you going to get out of that Happy Mail card than you would, like, on some really cool collectibles? You know what I'm saying? Especially since the card hobby is getting really fucking ridiculous. Like, as in being able to be, afford them and not have to stand an hour to get one pack. You know what I'm saying? And everybody, like the first person in the line gets a mega box and you get the value pack and you've been standing there the longest. I just feel like it's not fair. And they need to get, they need a better system. Or just cut retail off in general and leave it to the shops. I mean, to be honest, like, if it's causing that much trouble for everybody to have, either keep them behind the fucking counter, there has to be different stipulations. But, I'm kind of like bummed that we can't like go card hunting like we used to exactly <sighs> okay we are up to cards like to the yin yang not the cards that we want because and all honestly I don't do Pokemon but if I can get my hands on some collab with like a Burger King and basketball I'm all in now, I'd be in line too but not for Pokemon, because I don't even have enough Pokemon. Like, I have so much on my hands that I just... Not something I want to add to the plate. I don't, I don't even understand, like, I know Charizard, you can get the most money for, but I don't know, when I go, I don't know what to look for, or what to get, or who, you know, I just... That's my little sister's thing, and she really didn't even know how to explain it to me. So, on that note, I was just like, okay... So, Grim Reaper, what, what is your take on where it's headed? Because I have, I haven't, I, I didn't even have time. I just seen, I scrolled, seen a bunch of Pokemons and like, uh, boxes, like Happy Meals. And I didn't even get, like, I've been busy, so I did, just did a quick scroll. And I, all I kept seeing was Happy Meals and Pokemon, Happy Meals and Pokemon. And I was like, oh my god, what is going on? And that was all I did. 
but I'm doing Star Wars. Star Wars is number eight. So anything, and it says anything Star Wars is a good investment. These are all good investments, and they're current. This list is current. So I'm going to go over books S10, which means first editions, um, autographs. I don't know. Uh, first, good. yeah. <laughs> and it has to be in really good condition. Does that include comic books? No. No, that's just regular books. That's just regular. Like on Star Wars? Yeah, Star Wars. Um, so, movie collectibles is number nine. So you're showing what we got on Star Wars, what we were doing here. Okay, yeah. So, on the Star Wars, our collection includes the season one trading cards of Mandalorian. We haven't opened it. I've been tempted, but I didn't because I think it's more valuable if we leave it sealed. First one. Right. And then we have some um, mystery minis of Star Wars, and you can get, <coughs> like, any of those ten, and we have two. And this one. This one's pretty it's awesome. Sound. This one is... Um, Tap bobbleheads to activate light and sound. So this one has a lightsaber that goes. How does it go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that that was horrible. That's yeah. not how it sounded. <laughs> but <laughs> then we have. I love glasses. That's another thing I love collecting. Like actual glasses. I I love. I collect weird stuff, but these are pretty cool, and I can't take them out the book. <laughs> out the packages. He comes home with all these cool glasses and I'm like, oh, I want that one. And then we have Mandalorian with the child. That one's cool. And once these get bolted, any any Funko Pops you want to hold on to until they're bolted. And you want to hold on them until they're bolted because that's when they become more yeah, yeah. Uh, Luke Skywalker uh, Walmart exclusive and I don't know if this is called, like, chrome. Yeah, gold chrome. Yeah, gold chrome. And who looks like Skywalker? Do you know? No, I'm Red Dark Raider's son. There you go. There is you it? Know. Yeah. Oh, shit, I guess. And when Princess Leia <laughs> were twins. Ah, see, I didn't know that. Y'all quit tricking me into learning Star Wars. <laughs> okay, so, uh. So it's number eight. So number, yeah, seven. that was number eight. So, number seven on the list, believe it or not, is trading cards. Oh, really? Yeah. So, you know, we all know about the trading cards. Um, does anybody know what is the most expensive card? Can somebody give me an answer? Like Jeopardy. How does Jeopardy? Michael Jordan. Oh, uh, Honus Wagner. Yeah, hi. I didn't ask the Mr. Hands, the vet that's been in the game for. I'm not even gonna say that out loud. But <laughs> yeah, what it was? Yes, goddamn it, it was Honus Wagner. It's a uh, 1909. There's only no, <laughs> Mike Trout, rookie auto. No, it is a 1909 Honus Wagner baseball card. And, oh, 1909 through 11, T206. -O -T God damn, that's a long number. And it, the card sold in 2016 for $3.12 million. Only 200 exist. That card, and it's a baby card. It's like this card is like, um, they're called, uh... Tobacco, right? Yeah, tobacco cards. Tobacco cards. So this card that's like a itty bitty thing. I I'm sure most people know what a tobacco card is, but it sold for three point one two. Yeah, T O six. Yeah, but it's not just that. Yeah, it's a nineteen oh nine through eleven. Honus Wagner. Of Honus yeah. Wagner, we got duped on that one too. Why? Well, which, who do we have? Honus no. Wagner? Well, we have the... The, the reprint. Yeah. yeah. We had... No way we'd have the real one. Yeah. And so, 
that is number seven. And we all know about trading cards and how freaking ridiculous it is right now. So. You know, I used to own one of those. It was uh, Charlie Sheen. He collects sports memorabilia. He used to own a Honus Wagner. Oh, yeah? Back one of his stripper... It's, a, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool card. I'm not going to lie. One of his uh, stripper girlfriends tried to steal it from him one time. When I was born, my dad was 50. So, I, I was like... Pretty, um, no, it's over there. Just put it right there for now. Um, like, my dad's phone and my mom's phone were totally different because my mom was actually 29 years younger. So, my dad was 50 when I was born and my mom was 21. Is that 30? No, it's 29. They were 29 years apart. Fun fact. <laughs> so, I... was a player. So, when I was at my dad's house, I used to have to use the phone that would go around in the circle, and then have to go back, and then really you cool. have to go to the next number, and then go back, and then at my mom's house, I could just pick up the phone and just hit the numbers. <laughs> A rotary phone. Yeah, like, straight up, the same color, it was in the hall, and it would piss him off when I would be on it too long, because <laughs> the line would be busy. And, like, he swore he had somebody important calling him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so, on to number six is board games. And I didn't, like, put the most expensive because I was kind of, like, bummed when I saw it. But it's a Monopoly game. Monopoly is, like, the number one game in the world. And it's the longest, boringest ass hey, game. Hey, hey. I, like that game. <laughs> I know, I hate I can never get in the way of play it. Because it's... Horrible! It's like never ending. Like maybe I can play now because I probably whoop you now. No. <laughs> what? Because you get so bored and start getting on your phone and not paying attention. Uh, well, yeah, because it's boring. Like a cell phone or a Monopoly game. <laughs> one of those briefcase phones. Uh, I know. Yeah. So did my grandma. My grandma had one. My mama's mama. Okay, so, number five, action figures. And we have multiple <coughs> goddamn action figures. Not really? Yeah, they're all over here. Uh, Funko Not, Pops considered action figures? I don't know. They're in like a category. No, that's a whole different category. Funko yeah. Pop. I mean, guess they would be action figures. Oh, get those. Get the, uh. Yeah, and then you got that one over there. Oh, yeah, Sammy we got Sosa. Sammy Sosa. Yeah, <laughs> see if I can reach it. <laughs> I know, that's, I know it was, but I was just, I thought it was funny. Oh, you're tall. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sammy Sosa. So this is a combination of sports and um. It comes with a card. Yeah, the starting lineups always came with cards. Oh well, I didn't know I didn't do those. And then uh, Silence of the Lamb. Uh, and get one of the actual, get one of the mini ones right here, like the Captain America or something, See? and Rocky, but no, in the closet, in the cabinet. The closet. <laughs> I hate Rocky's voice, I really do. Oh, okay, I hear you. Let's see. Uh, this, this, and this one, there's a small one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so these are pretty cool. Um, I used to get my cousin Junior for his birthday McFarlane's, like Freddy Cougar and uh, I forgot Jason or something. I got him. I got him like a couple. I would always get him for his birthday when we were younger because it was his favorite. So, action figures. These would probably be worth money, like when Joseph's our age. Yep. But yeah, so action figures and the 1963 G.I. Joe sold for guess how much? Somebody just take a wild guess. $5.2 million. Too high. We'll play high low. 50000 Low. <laughs> Too low. 500 uh, warmer, but too high. Two hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred thousand dollars. All right. In two thousand three. <coughs> and in the original packaging. Mhm. Mm 
Yeah, GI Joe's. That's what Junior looks for. He has a bunch of like GI Joe's. I didn't even know. I was no for two hundred thousand though. I didn't know. See, my yeah. version of a GI Joe was those little green things that you got from the dollar store, and you would play with the GI Joes. Yeah, the little green things. Yeah. So Junior has like Barbie dolls that are. G.I. Joe's, but apparently those are the ones yeah, that are worth. Are ones that, yeah, I was like, I didn't even know that. green things. I used to pull them <laughs> up with firecrackers. Uh, number four is dolls. Harley Quinn. It's Jovanas. Oh, really? <laughs> Why are you calling me on camera? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I probably got it for her. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, dolls, number four. I don't collect dolls. And I, like my, I thought you got that for me. I saw it on there. I was just like, oh, "That's mine." I don't. AJ, I, you got that for? Oh, know, that's right. That's that right. One, yeah. That. So I have Spurs and I have Longhorns, but I don't have a cowboy one. I do. <laughs> yeah. Rub it in. Rub yeah. it in. That's why I got Harley yeah, Quinn. Stays, doesn't matter. It stays all day long in there. Harley Quinn. It's okay, because I got my Spurs. They have this cool one, though. They have the throwback. Oh, do they? They do. I was like, damn. But these cups are kind of pricey. On So, four is dolls. If anybody wants to know anything more about it, I can give you the website. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and move on. My uh, mom had some dolls in our house in Cisco. And yeah. We had a scary one. That would actually move. Oh, they all get scary and move. This one was scary. scary my me. grandma... Okay, so my grandma collected dolls. And she made dolls, like handmade dolls. So there was, uh, uh, like, dolls all over her house, like, in above the toilet, like, on the pianos and shit. And there was just dolls there, and they were scary. Um, so we're at the top three, guys. The third most collectible... Collected collectible is food stamps. <laughs> I wish, cause I'd be collecting the shit out them motherfuckers. Them old ones worth money. The ones that came. Oh, like, oh man, <laughs> we used to get, we used to think we were balling with them. Cash. <laughs> yeah, like ooh, ooh, mom, give me one. She would like just pull out her little book. <laughs> Here, take three. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, so stamp. So let me show you. I. I guess I'm a nerd because I just instantly like. So I get I buy these for you guys. This is like how I do. This is what I do for you guys. So if you get something sent to you and you don't pay like um, you'll pay a dollar fifty for no tracking. But when it shows up and you have a Wilt Chamberlain stamp. With a nice, like, sleek, um, black envelope that has, like, a little basketball that raises. And you open it, and it has my thank you note, and it has Michael Jordan or Kobe on the front, or their favorite team, and then their card is in there. It's really nice. So, I spend way more money on packaging than the average person, but it's just these things that... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that just I just like to make you guys feel special and just know that we appreciate you guys and y'all's business. But these are really cool stamps and they're really fucking expensive because they don't make them anymore. Right. So then I have my own little set right here and a little um that I'm keeping for myself. That's part of my personal collection. Then we have Marvin Gaye. We just started this kind of. What's going on? music. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I like stamps. I don't know. I but they're like stickers to me. So I'm like a kid. I'm like a big kid for real. Because when I was playing, I don't know if you guys have checked out my YouTube video on me unboxing the small stars. But if you haven't checked it out. If you haven't checked it out, check it out because um, I was literally, like, having a freaking blast with them. Like, I was, like, playing with them and I was trying to take out the shoot. Like, I just, 
They're like dolls to me. I play with Barbies, so these are like stickers. <laughs> then we have Harlem Renaissance. So we have Nella Larson, Arturo Schumberg. I don't know, but these are really cool. Voices of the Harlem Re Renaissance. That's what they're called. So, we try to get stamps. Um, when I find, like, something cool. I did have a collection of some throwbacks, which are kind of expensive, too. And they're not really, like, stamps that you can use on an envelope. So, I would put them on um, you guys' packages also. But, I felt like having real stamps that you could mail and get, like, the little print over it would be cooler so yeah see like this is a like a sticker I would put on somebody's envelope and I think this is yeah this is Kobe yeah so stamps are pretty cool for me um and then we have just give me a second because Mr. Hands disappeared on me and he is the professional when it comes to number two. Oh, and trading cards. Let me show you some other cool vintage um, trading cards that we have. Okay. So we have a Robert Clemente. Roberto. Uh, Robert Clemente? No, it was Roberto. I was right. Roberto Clemente. And this is an actual... Um, number 11 vintage DC. I love like how the vintage is. I want to take it out, but and it's. It's coming out. Yeah, see how, like, um, I can't, I, I'm not sure if it's, like, part of, like, a Cracker Jacks thing. He can tell you more about this, because I'm not sure on, like, what the, what it's, but look at this. This is Fernando Venezuela, and if you look from the side, it's a 3D baseball stars, and the year on it is, at the top, oh, 1985, that's my lucky year, guys. <laughs> So, it's pretty awesome. It's like looking at him face to face. It's like, hey, yo, you want to play some baseball with me? <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up, guys. And then we have this Prism Kobe... I believe it's an actual card, too. Yeah, we have all kinds of cool, like, just... Collectibles. So, this looks like it's, um... It's like an oversized... Uh, re like a reprint of the card box if you can kind of tell it says six packs per six cards per pack and then wait six packs per box no six cards per pack 20 packs per box fuck I remember those good old days <laughs> I've only been breaking opening cards for like three years now dang yeah so that's just some of our, like, 
I think we even have some like rare like um, cards. <sighs> and I was like trying to think of all the. Oh, we have another quote card. My inspiration, the one that got me started, and it just went from like a side hustle to like my full time gig right now. But it's okay because this isn't my only. I'm branching out a couple of different ways, and that's why I've been so busy, guys. I've been so busy trying to protect ourselves because I can't be like having somebody like I use my address and so I want to get like the peel box situated I had to like just a bunch of stuff for our safety and that was a big scare so like I know that people want to do like transactions through family and friends and I don't know how many hackers that like he's gonna wait and then like strike but <laughs> so I have to kind of just kind of be careful and dot my I's, cross my T's, you know, that kind of stuff. Protect our assets. So those are some of the cool cards. And since this isn't top 10, but it's just fun, I'm going to show you guys. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, I want to talk, this is a 1971 Playboy. We have, wait, make sure there's nothing, <laughs> let's do it this way. We have the whole complete set of 71 Playboy. We have 70, we have seven. Oh shit, is that not plugged in? Ow, oh, ow, oh, give me just one second, guys. Okay. Yeah, so we have. The complete sets from 70 to 71 of Playboy. And 71, I believe, has the Christmas special. Oh, I can't show you this one because it has boobies. I mean, it's pretty cool. I love, I don't even know, like... Like, talk about vintage. Seventy one. Showing off the Playboys. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure that they're okay to show. And then we have July. These things are one dollar and seventy one. So pretty cool. And we do have seventy through seventy one complete sets. Through seventy three. Huh? Through seventy three. Seventy four? Seventy through seventy-four. Well, we kept that seventy-one. Yeah, seventy through seventy-four. Yeah, we kept seven seventy-one. Might have got more than that. No, yeah, I have. This one doesn't fit. Okay, so then we have Beckett with Duncan on it. So we do we do have uh, Beckett magazines, and this one is from twenty two thousand and three. Mr. Hand's personal collection. Yeah, this is Mr. Hand's PC, and this baby is in wrapping, so it must be something really good. Uh, Mr. Hands, what am I going to do with you? This is 
Mile High Card Company. And it is from, I used to do magazines too, but I did like teen, um, this is, that's from PSA. I know, but what year? This, this year. This 2020, year. okay, I was just making sure because I said it, but. It should be 2020. 20, yeah, 2020. So this is a, a, a new, a newer one, but it like has like the graded cards, um, that's from PSA. PSA. Yeah, so it has some pretty cool stuff. I think it goes through, like, baseball. Oh, maybe we can find a Honus Wagner in here. course they're gonna make you. Oh, 1958. What, are, what was it? Oh, 1909. Like yeah. uh, I'm trying to find the Honus Wagner, guys. Give me a second. Let me just show you this. How much was it? Three point one two. Oh, he gets his own page. Yeah, he does. I bet he gets like the first page. Oh, we're getting closer. That's Lou. Babe Ruth. Yeah, you get close. That is that Tycom. Uh, this is it's number one. No. Maybe they don't go that far back. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth cards. Honus oh, Wagner. No? Yep. But it's so tiny right there. Yeah. Maybe. It's Honus Wagner right there, too. It was right past the... Uh, I look like him, right? Uh, that's Adrian Cap Anson. That's from the 1880s. Huh. Okay, so he was right after Michael Jordan. <coughs> no. Maybe. No, yeah. now we're going to basketball. Yeah, yeah, but it's a pretty cool card. It's like a little tiny, uh, so and he doesn't even look like, he looks like, uh, that, like he doesn't play basketball. That's it. One we have. Roberto Clemente? Yeah, but it's, uh, the one we have is, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have this, but it's the big, there, that's that. What is it from? Because I was trying to explain. Come out of a box. See, you I told you. Cards with, when you buy a box of cards, sometimes they give you like a poster ah, style. Ah, uh -huh. There it is. Yeah. Right there. Honus Wagner. That's the $3.12 million card that sold in 2016. This little baby right here. That is the most expensive trading card to date. And who's this guy? And that's uh, some guy named Michael Jordan. I don't really know who he is, so. I mean, I heard he's overrated. He is totally overrated, though. Like, I would like to see him come back and just kind of like. I, don't, I still don't understand why they call him a GOAT when Bill Russell has 11 NBA championships. Stephen A. and Max, they fight over that shit all day long. It doesn't, I mean, the guy was even a player coach. Okay. His playing days. I mean, that, so and you know what the number one. The, can anybody guess what the number one collectible is? It ain't trading cards. Somebody's anybody, huh? Kids. <sighs> no, because I wouldn't. I'm not adding to my collection. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I did, but whatever. So what's the number one? The number one. 
No, that's actually number two. Did we skip the coins? We sure did, because I was yeah, waiting for you. Coins. They're over here. Yeah. Huh, I was going to say it, too. Okay. Coins are number two. Oh. Um. No, I would just know you have the, uh, you know more about these than I do. So, uh, what happened was, this is mine. I don't know why. But, but um, my mom was supposed to give me this. I had to drive to San Antonio to pick up a car, a coin. Because this coin goes with our JFK collection. Do you see how it's a JF Kennedy, what is this, a quarter? Half dollar? Half dollar. Half dollar. Right, so... I was supposed to go pick this up, and my mom sent me home with this little baby Dude. instead, and uh, <laughs> Mr. Hands was pissed, like, I told you a car, and so they got into this big thing, right, and then he's like, bring it back, I said, why, I said, I just, it's mine, like, now it's mine, you know, I'm gonna keep it, and he's like, Gina, if we don't bring it back, you don't get a birthday present. And I was like, okay, I'm bringing it back. <laughs> that is your birthday present. Yeah. So, what is so special about this dime that you had a butt fit? <laughs> it's a silver dime. It's a silver dime. And these are just like little stuff that I had in there. So, those are like just some coins that we have. Keep it, yeah, I know, but you still didn't tell anybody what it's just what it's the worth. Yeah, not much, like 10, 10 15 bucks. Oh, that's shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a hundred times. <laughs> a hundred. <coughs> that's a lot. It's worth a lot more than just a dime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And the number one, because coins is number two. Drum roll, R. Cheerio boxes, psych. <laughs> Black. They are comic books. Comic books is the number one collectible to this day. And this is an autographed Man. The artist. By the artist. So this is an autographed Superman comic book. Um, 1993 issue number 13 if I'm reading right. Yeah. Okay. And this is a Spawn Tribute to to Chad Boswin. This is the Wait. original poster. Chad Boswin, yeah. I mean, the original cover, but after he passed away, they wanted to do a tribute to him. So they, it's, because it's the same comic book. Right. It's just a different cover. Yeah, the two different covers. And this one is the chase, right? Yeah. The black and white is the chase from the tribute. So, so then we have the original, the tribute, and the tribute trace. And then this one, too. Yeah. They're and then, all the same. Yeah, so... A set of four. A set of four. Then we have first print, first time in print, Black Panther, Long Live the King. And then this was my first, um... Binger. Yeah, this is, I'm going to show you the two, because I have four. But this is the original and then the chase, right? Oh, no, no, Damn it. Mine's is black and white, too. I grabbed the wrong, wrong one. Oh, okay. But, yeah, so... And I got this from, um... Comic Cards and More Comic Books 21. He's, he's changed his name a couple of times, so... But, okay. <laughs> um... I got them from him. They're awesome, and I'm excited to just kind of hold on to them. But this was actually my first little investment. In comic card, I mean comic books. I love comic cards though. Comic cards are so much fun. Right. So, 
And that is the top 10. So when you can't find cards, that's another good option to, if you're looking to just like make some extra money or you like collecting in general. And since the hobby right now is so like crazy, these are other um, ways to still um, collect and not just collect for fun, but collect and you can make a lot of money. Because the most expensive comic book was sold in 2014 for $3.21 million on eBay. Superman. The number one action comics... Sorry, with Superman... Uh... Like, first, like, yeah, his first debut. He was first featured. Yeah. So, there you can go up in value. Um, I'm going to have to end it tonight short. I don't know what's going on with um, the iPad, but it's going to die, and I can't save it. So, I hope you guys got some cool information, and... We will see each other soon. I'm probably going to only be coming on on Tuesdays because I have to do YouTube. And I have a lot of um, things that we're working on. Some podcasts. Um, and Friday. Fridays will come. We'll, okay, we'll stick to Tuesdays and Fridays for at least like an hour. Like if nothing's going on, you know? Yeah. So, all right, guys, y'all have a good night. It was fun. Mr. Hands and I got some pretty cool things coming up. Please check out my YouTube channel, and um, if you like it, I think I got unmasked tonight. A couple oh. times I've done some <laughs> stuff over here. And my face got <sighs> so, thank Ignore you guys for all the support. The Hi, money from the money from the couch. I like how you think. Alright guys, until next time, y'all have a good night and stay safe.